Oh, well, I have a way back to Laverton. Camping at Mount Bot again. I just sort of take a stroll around the corner. Have a look at this gorge. Seen a little bit of water in the creek on the way up. Some camel pads. If I walk up here, there's bigger trees up here, so see what's up here. Yeah, a bit of a willy willy starting over yonder. I just had a nice big cool breeze coming in. Blow all these little flies, bush flies away. Not much now, so I fall off. Still want to walk up a bit further and see what we can see up here. Beautiful broken low country. all these little ponds along this creek line it comes out of this gorge I'm going to go try and go right up to the end and see if there's a big pool there up here by myself and the flies I just come across where the camels have been having a bit of a rest up. Oh, the tidiest critters. They scoop out a bit of a hole, lie down for the night. Too lazy to get up and head to the bush for a rest break. So they deposit these little pellets all over the place where they've been sleeping. Probably all spinifex in the bush. All sorts of bodies out here. Beautiful, rich colours out on the side of a hill. Well, I made it to the end of the gorge. Fortunately, no Garden of Eden. Beautiful sight, all the same. Worth the walk. Here's the view from the other side of this bluff I'm standing on. Still no Garden of Eden. Very colourful, all the same. Typical Australian. This place is about well, where I am now is about 3 k's from the bottom of Mount Bot where we camped. Well worth a stroll. Another dromedary sleeping area here. Now from over the top, over to the right there, I noticed a path worn by the animals up this way. Um, a little bit of further investigating, this is where the gorge actually starts. Starts yonder, continues its way down here. Be nice series of waterfalls here. If I can get down there, yes, a nice series of waterfalls here. When she rains, I imagine. A good sight to see. Waterfall, or would be waterfall, forms two purposes. There's also a cave underneath it that the roos like sleeping in by a little bit. In case you're wondering, I made it back to camp safely. When you go on a stroll out the scrub like that, make sure you've got plenty of water and some fruit and nuts, or chockey bars or something, high energy stuff, because you never know if you could break a leg out there. Always carry a personal e-perb as well. Bye for now.